Talk a little bit about this, this run you're on. Obviously, the last two fights are not even in the cage for three total minutes or so. Two big TKOs. You know, talk about the, the last three that, that uh, you've been kind of tearing through, guys. Yeah, I just got to credit my preparation and my focus and my hard training. You know, I just go out there, uh, move around, feel the fight out, look for an opening, and then I explode it. You know, um, that's what I plan on doing for the rest of my fights. After the Romero fight, you and I talked on the phone about the issues you had in the weight cut and, and how you were going to be absolutely different in your preparation going forward from that. Has, has that been the case these last three fights? Has, has that played a factor in you know, in, in performance in the cage? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I've been working on, um, that's a part of your mix on martial arts, you know, uh, diet, nutrition, hydrating, you know, all that's, you know, that's training, you know. So uh, I've been working on that part of the game and I'm feeling that I'm, you know, shoring up that. So yeah, um, definitely helping my performance. You, work, you get the chance to work with one of the best in the game, John Jones up there. What kind of things does he tell you when, you know, when he assesses your game? What does he impress with you when he works with you? Yeah, um, obviously, yeah, John's been one of my training partners for the last five years. So it's good, obviously, he's at the top of the sport. You know, he's our best fighter currently. So uh, it's good to pick his brain and, you know, see how he works and what goes through his mind. He's talking about So, yeah, I've been able to use a little bit of that. What specifically about what he does have you taken that you've been impressed with? Uh, just the mindset, you know. Whenever he's training, He's training, you know? so his mindset is you know, game on. You think about every aspect of the game, you know. So you know, I try to add it to my game, and it makes it easier to break down. Okay. Fight, break down. Can you break down his game for us a little bit. I mean, he's a he's a veteran guy. He doesn't have the fights against some of the names that you've had in the last five years or so, though. So, kind of, what did you think when when they came at you with this fight, and and what does he bring to the table that you need to watch out for? Uh, submissions, you know. Um, there, there's no question. You know, he's a tough submission guy. You know, so he brings that to the table. You know? Um, that's where he looked to go. He looked to get taken down and be really heavy on top and look for submissions or he get he looked for submissions off his back. So that's a part of his game. You've had a few injuries uh, in the last couple years. You had a fight that was canceled because an event was canceled. You had to wait on that one. Do you have any goals in terms of 2016 as far as consistency goes? Money getting in there X number of times or anything like that? Yeah, for sure. Uh, 2016, I definitely like to fight, you know, three or four times to stay happy.